Now Frank Bender can show us what he might have looked like. His goal is not just to sculpt Adam, but to reveal his personality. I tried to get into his head just like I would a fugitive. Intuition is the binder between art and science. It's the part that pulls it all together and gives it that life, that spark. I picture him very much alive and with a lot of the basic feelings that we have today. Confidence one point, insecurity in another. Finally, Wells comes face to face with the man he's been searching for. A new portrait of the common ancestor of every man today. Adam. Without a skull, we can't know for sure what Adam looked like. But a combination of genetic evidence, Bender's forensic skills, and cutting-edge computer software suggest he looks something like this. Thousands of years after the Bible, and hundreds of years after Michelangelo, we have a whole new face for Adam. I like the expression. He's got a very forceful look. He's intent on something, maybe taking over the world. You, know, you begin to get perhaps an insight into why these guys want out, and why this guy's our ancestor. Science can't tell for sure what set Adam apart. There were other men who lived alongside him. But over the centuries, all the other men's lines died out. Maybe some had only daughters, or no children at all. Their Y chromosomes were lost forever. Only Adam's lineage survives.